begin the demo by logging into the Nuage VSP. Once we're logged in, we're going to go take a look at the gateway configuration that we have here. So we'll take a look at our gateways, and we can see the Arista Hardware VTEP is displayed as a gateway that we have in our data center. And then under each interface, we have the ability to then map VLAN to VNI bindings. So these are the VLANs that are available to our users when they're actually creating their Layer 2 domains. We'll come over here to the Layer 2 domain. And here we can see all the devices that are a member of the same domain. This includes a virtual machine with its virtual Ethernet port, as well as this vPort bridge, which is our Arista hardware VTEP. So all of these different devices are communicating over a VXLAN network in the same uh, Layer 2 domain. Now let's log into the switch and take a look at what we have on the switch configuration. So if we look at the switch config, we can see service HSC. And for the manager IP address, this is our Nuage VSC controller. If I do a show HSC status, we can see that we have an OVSDB connection set up to the controller and we are connected and it's active. Then we can take a look at the logical switches that are configured on the controller. So we can see the VNI ID that's been assigned to this particular Layer 2 domain, as well as the logical ports that have been configured. So we have two different ports on two different switches that are configured as part of this domain. We can also take a look from a physical switch perspective and actually see the VLAN to VNI binding that's happening on the Ethernet interface. Finally, if I do a show interface VXLAN 1, I can see that I'm dynamically learning that VNI to VLAN binding, as well as uh, the head end replication flood list. So this is how we're sending that broadcast unknown and multicast traffic out. Now to see what we're learning on the data plane, I'm doing a show v MAC address table. And we can see that we haven't learned anything yet across VXLAN, our, our VXLAN interface. So if we come over here to our virtual machine and actually start sending some traffic, so I'm coming over here to vCenter, and I'm going to my new Oz virtual machine. And from the console, I'm going to start pinging the hardware server that's sitting off of my VTEP. Once I start generating that traffic, and I come back over here to the switch, we can see that we've now learned that MAC address over the VXLAN interface. So we've done data plane learning of the MAC address for that particular machine.